I don't know, I've been punched in the head too many times. <laughs> How I train before my fight? Yeah. Um, I train five hours a day for five days a week plus uh, a couple hours on weekends. I started off by doing three to four hours of wrestling practice, and then after that, I would eat uh, normally either salmon and a vegetable or chicken and a vegetable. And then after that, I would go to my MMA gym and train for another two hours. I've been told that a lot of people who have the better walkout music tend to win. I don't really know that that's true. The only way I could see that that would be true would be if the fighter was overly confident. And so that's the music they played with something overly confident. And um, they just ended up winning because they were the better fighter. Some may point out that I was saved by the bell, and I would agree. My fight did have one point where I could have lost, but, you know, the bell rang just in time, and they pulled me out of there, and I ended up being fine. Nobody actually wants to be hit, but it's what happens. just paid to watch me fight. It's pretty much my one emotion. Oh my god, she looks like a man. I'm gonna die was another one. Uh, while I was in the ring, my favorite was, holy shit, holy shit, why am I doing this to myself? That was, that was my last emotion. And then afterwards, I'm like, all right, when's my next one? 
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for these female guardians in the ring right now. Our winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Olivia would probably be my ability to do jujitsu as a more well-rounded fighter than she was and a better understanding of the rules and the point system as far as uh, two points for every takedown versus one point for just hitting someone or punching or getting a kick in um, and I got a majority of the takedowns and kept dominance throughout the entire round which led to my win by decision, and I won every round of the fight, no matter how hard it looked like she was hitting me. grade three concussion. I did not break anything. I definitely got a lot of bruises. I don't, did not receive any cuts or anything else mentioned. I was definitely really sore. That's good. All right, do I want my children to do MMA? Absolutely. I think it teaches a lot of things. It teaches motivation, discipline. It helps teach them ambition, competitiveness, all qualities that work well in the real world. Start your kids early. That is how they will succeed. And train them well so that they don't get hit in the head and that they don't end up with seizure disorder and so they can continue to train and be signed by the UFC which is what my parents should have done for I know kids who are three years old who can put people in triangle chokes and choke them out adults I'm not even kidding it's pretty intense Chuck what's up bro that's UFC Hall of Famer Chuck Liddell in LA. And what he has to say could get your kid's ass kicked. What do you think is the youngest age that kids should be allowed to get involved in MMA? Well, training wise, they can start as young as, I mean, they can get kids working out at gyms as long as three. As long as three? Three or four, They're just learning uh, just martial arts, martial arts side of it, yeah. As it becomes more popular, I mean, more kids are going to want to do it. It's already popular. And kids are already doing it. They got intros and kicks to the face. And then here come the tears. This seems like a bad idea. This whole sport is so disgusting. All you're doing is causing physical pain to another oh. person. Fight! 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 Sorry, that kid bludgeoning got us worked up. You're in America. Thanks. America is violence. Embrace it. Yeah, shut up, Australian kangaroo loving. Bloomin' Onion Foster's piece of crap. <laughs> Kick in the face! I have filled the void in my heart where MMA used to be, or at least tried to fill it, with CrossFit. We have uh, wads, which are workouts of the day. They consist of things like jerks, hand cleans, squats, deadlifts, Stuff like that. Um, they also include like box jumps, kettlebells, running, running with weights, which sucks. Uh, basically what I do in a nutshell is I lift things up and then I put them down. It's basically the sport. Sometimes we do push-ups in the handstand, so that's pretty nifty. Uh, but the rest of it's basically lifting heavy things. Physiologically, men 
that are stronger, they have more muscle, they have more capability. So yes, I'm gonna say men's MMA is more brutal and more intense than females MMA. everyone because I'm a woman in a man's sport and men don't like that. They don't like their masculinity to be challenged especially when it comes to brutal manly sports unless women are attractive and wear bikinis while they do it in jello and then they're happy. And one more announcement, after a year in retirement, after my fight, I have been doing CrossFit and I've decided that I want to go back into fighting. And I've been looking for something to fill the gap, but nothing. I need to go back to it. That's who I am. That's what I do. So, you hear it here first. I'm coming out of retirement and maybe you'll see me in the UFC one day.